When the train didn't arrive at the opposite end, and the signalmen attempted to contact each other, communication between the signal boxes no longer functioned, as if the lines had been cut. The entire section of the Tay Bridge, known as the High Girders, with the full length of the train inside them, had collapsed into the water, quite a distance to the east, as if blown over by that evening's powerful winds. The North British Railway's train had plummeted into the 30 feet deep, freezing River Tay, crushed and effectively imprisoned by a cage of cast iron girders. All souls aboard were lost.